Okay, so now we have the Mines of Minerva. Okay, this is actually a two sheet set. So if you've got this add on, it actually has two sheets to it. Hence, two sheet set, as it were. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's start with um, sheet uh, one of two, uh, I guess, is the easiest way to do this. This has basically got the main mine entrance on it, which is the main part um, to start with. So we can pop that out. So, a normal double door, okay, which is just the same really as this double door um, in every respect, uh, pretty much. But instead of having a smaller architrave type piece that goes in there, um, you've got this big fat one, okay. And it's got these little parts here that you can pop out, okay, that allow you to slot the ramps in. And this, this is the one exception where these ramps are actually different from your normal ramps. They're the same. Um, they're the same as these, as far as size etc is concerned. But this has got a little lip on it here that allows it to rest against against this clip piece here. Um, these don't have it because we're actually slotted into these slots now. Okay, and also these are specially textured to match the uh, the texture of these particular. Um, this are uh, surround as it were. So let's just assemble it just like a normal door again. We're going to bend that through. There's some half cuts on there we need to follow. And then choose a side and we're going to clip it in. So starting from the bottom, I'm going to pop one, one on here. Again, just like a normal, a normal door you're going to assemble. Okay. And again, a little bit of pressure, pop straight in. We've really got that size in smack on for this dungeon set. Okay, so that's cool, that's all in there. That gives you that basic kind of tunnel effect. And then all you do is you just locate these in here and you pop it in, whoops, back fingers, I can't do this backwards very well, in, and once it's in, just lock it down. You can see I've just popped that off there. Clever. Um, and then on this side, Pop it in like that. Again, it's difficult for me to do it backwards, but I can show you, like so. And then uh, I'll do this one just this way for speed, because I don't have to do it backwards. One and two in the back. Yeah, that's how quick it is when you're actually looking at what you're doing and you're not blind to it. Um, so that's that. That is the, the, the mine entrance. What we've got is um, we've then got um, assembly wise, we've then got your mine carts. So we managed to squeeze two of these on in the end, uh, which was totally cool per set. So there you go. Minecart, really, really simple uh, design. That's the, the carriage, the, uh, as it were. So you just bend that through, and then you sort of slot one top bit in, and then the other top bit in, and you just ease them both down. And you could pretty much do the same on that side, starting with that one, and then just bend it out a little bit, lock it in, and there you go. Mm -hmm. Totally wicked little uh, little mine cart as it were. We can have some fun with that. Knock it over, brilliant cover. Um, on here, I might as well talk about these. We've got a couple of gold counters. Okay, so this is you know um, comes out your furnace. It's already done as ingots, being, you know, um, sort of cast up, etc. Uh, or on the other side, you've got your your ore straight from the uh, straight from the mountain or the mines or whatever, I guess, um, which you can use in there. Uh, and on the, on the second sheet as well, there's a whole bunch of these um, these counters, so you'll get you'll get tons and tons of those, which are really really cool. So there you go. There's the mine cart. Uh, another minecart on there. We've managed to fit a couple more of these trapdoor counters where we had space for something but we couldn't do anything else. Um, and actually, one of those leads down like a trapdoor, and one of these <laughs> is actually a trap trapdoor. Um, we've got then you've got your your mine tracks. These kind of lined up. I haven't got the floor tiles, uh, the, the 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 mat here, as it were, but you can basically, um, you know, do all sorts of stuff with that. Run it through your mines, come out the other side, have extra track, 
that might end there and another one might come over somewhere else or whatever okay so uh, yeah loads of trap on that um, the only thing left on here was we had this bit of a, a funny L shape here um, and again we didn't have anything to put on there um, so uh, I made this kind of bit of old busted track which you could you know could be like you know halfway through part of your section mine can't go any further or just a bit of scatter you know laying around as it were um, again totally and utterly cool um, then we come to the second sheet okay of the mines Minerva now on here you can't see it here because we've um, we only had the one sheet and all these bits are popped out and, uh, and used okay um, but in here um, this is scaffolding in here we actually had some just waste card but inside that you pop out uh, cut in are these some more of these counters so I think we're looking at another one two three four um, of the gold counters which are also textured um, as ore on the other side which is really kind of cool uh, you just can't see them so there's uh, there's another one there for example okay um, then let's have a look you've got more of these rail tracks as it were okay so you've got some more of those over here bom, bom, bom. so you can see we've got absolutely tons one two three four five six seven bits of track versus the one or two plus the busted bit um, that we managed to fit in this set um, you know and some of you guys bought like you know two or three of these sets so you could really you could just put you know make your entire um, dungeon of mine if you wanted to um, as part of the mine track people asked for a couple of things and one of the things we managed to do they wanted to kind of like a lever mechanism so we took the uh, the lever from the dungeon accessories and I just modded it a little bit so that you had like a little freestanding lever which is really kind of cool because you could then put that next to your track or whatever and that could be part of uh, you know changing to a different whatever okay um, so there we go we fitted that on it just looks cool it doesn't have to be used with the mine tracks it can be used with anything uh, as another objective point uh, again we had a bit of space so a little bit of scaffolding scatter okay which is just like hanging around and it's all these little bits just hanging around which really just bring the dungeon to life so um, which is really really cool finally that leaves us with the main part of this sh sheet which takes up most of the room which is the whopping scaffolding uh, okay so we just pop all these bits out uh, get off. Yeah. okay um, and then this one is a bit sort of tricky to assemble I uh, tricky probably not really the right word but uh, okay so we've got that um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to we're going to need a kind of a thing like that where we've got um, the steps going up and then leading up to a bigger sort of area as it were so let me see if I can remember how to do this we can take the larger area okay um, and we use that if you look at this large area you've got a fat bit here and a kind of a thinner bit here okay um, so we want to pop the thinner bit through the tallest piece that's also got the steps on it okay and we can just pop that through it will just about fit at an angle probably better that way okay you just have to ease it through a little bit and then at around about halfway there's a couple of slots and it just kind of locks in place like that so you end up with that um, then you take the the other taller bit and you do the same through the big hole there but you don't have to go very far and you just lock it into place right at the end there's two little slots here and you lock that down okay so you end up with that then all you need to do is you need to just slot this over here with facing this way and not this way so that we uh, and again, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing to uh, negotiate here. It just fits over the top like that. Okay. And then the steps will give it a bit of, and the next bit we're going to put on the top will give it a bit of um, stability. So we've got a bit that fits on the top. And again, it's two little slots just there. Let's slot in that side. Uh, like so. And then that should just push down over the top of that with a bit of luck like so and that just goes down there 
Okay, getting a bit steadier now. And finally, we then just want to pop these steps on. Okay, and they do simply just push on to the bottom. One, two, and three. And they stay in quite nicely. There, and now that gives it a little bit more rigidity. I know that's not a word, I use it on the last uh, assembly videos as well. So there you go, beautiful bit of scaffolding and a uh, bit of scatter brings it all to life. Yep, yeah, there we go. That, or those, are the sheets for the Mines of Minerva.